So how do you mark your progress? Well, believe it or not, at one time I did using collecting t-shirts. Hey, it's Don Skaggs with Empowered Inventing TV, where we try to help you help other people by taking your great innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that with sound wisdom, so you can turn them into real things like products and businesses that actually make real money. Now, today I will have a question for you, and that is, how do you mark the progress of your idea, your product, your business, your startup? How do you mark progress with that? Because you need to mark how fast and how far you're going with milestones or some way to visibly see where you are, where you want to be, and how you want to get there. And, you know, back in my business, we sold to a lot of hospitals and uh, in a lot of different cities. And if you've heard my backstory, you know, back in the, in the 90s, we, we had a scrappy little bootstrap startup and we had these little, uh, uh, this product that we'd sell to hospitals. And when I would load up a whole bunch of samples into a, a little 1991 Mercury Tracer wagon, and, and, and head out to all of these different cities and all of these different hospitals and all these different places across the country. And, and you know what? When I got a hospital account or when I got an account in a city or now uh, I guess it would be probably a speaking gig somewhere because I, I, I have spoke at, at different places. And, uh, uh, but back in, back in when, I, when we were selling to hospitals, you know, especially if it was a university hospital, I would get a t-shirt or a hat from that place, and I wouldn't buy one until that, and it was kind of my, uh, my trophy. I, I, I talked about trophies in an earlier video, kind of in a bad light, but you, know, you can use them in a good light as long as that's not the focus of, you know, the trophy's the focus. No, as long as it's attached to something that is really, truly happening, like, hey, I just won this account. I just got an account at so-and-so. So this t-shirt, now it's not a university, but it is the, uh, it's St. Louis. It's actually the uh, Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, uh, is what it says. It's the arch uh, in St. Louis. And I actually got to go inside the arch and tour. I don't know if they still do that or not. It used to be like a little elevator thing. You'd go in and you get up to the top of the arch and and uh, it was really cool, but underneath all that was this really, really cool museum. Uh, if you're a nerd like me and you like museums. So anyway, uh, so I got this because I won a big account. Now, it wasn't a university account, but it was a big hospital account. And I, um, I got this as my badge of honor, as my reward, as my mental way, emotional way to mark I got this. I didn't get it before that. I got it after I actually did something. So, uh, and, and I, I know I, I had a speaking gig from Northern Kentucky University. I was going to bring that hat in too. I did, didn't get a chance to. But, uh, uh, but that, that's my trophies now. Is, but, uh, you know, I've, I've got t-shirts from hospital, university hospitals from all over. You'd think I was a fan of, you know, uh, 25 different uh, of, of football teams or uh, or uh, sports teams, but no, you know they'll they'll see the people send me to the church. Oh, are you a are you a so and so fan? No, I, I just I got it because we had an account there, so which was kind of funny and kind of again a little, little weird, a little nerdy, but still it meant a lot to me because this to me said we did this. I had a product, it got into the market, and this big place bought it. This big place became our account. So uh, I would get a t-shirt or a hat and it was really this trophy, this really this way of seeing the progress of my efforts. Now I think you should have goals and I, I, maybe you should have some way to mark those goals. It could be t-shirts and hats, it could be something else. Uh, it could be pins on a map. I've seen people do that before. But in order to do all that, in order to get there, you have to have goals. And those goals should be certain ways, should be certain things. Not these, not these abstract, not these nebulous, I'm going to make a million dollars when I'm rich and famous. No, 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 no. They have to be real. That's the first thing. You, you have, your goals 
have to be real. They don't. They can't be fake. They can't be superficial, and they really, really, really can't be ambiguous. Uh, they must be attainable, especially in the short term. Don't make them just like so far out that they're unreachable for this year. Uh, um, right now, at the recording of this, it's the beginning of a year. It's, it's, it's on the cusp of the beginning of a year, and and really, you know, you ought to say, okay, this year. This is one of my goals, and you have to make it, uh, make it a real goal. And now, you, you, when you set these goals, you could make them so far-fetched and so far out there and so big that they're unattainable for, for this year or this month or this week even. But you want to stretch your abilities. You want to set these goals with two things in mind. You want to stretch your abilities, but you want them to remain very possible. It's very doable. The, I can do this. I know I can do this. I have these tools. I have this time frame. I have this amount of time. And I want to get up off the couch. I'm putting down the remote. I'm setting down the, the smartphone. And I'm going to do this. And you stretch your abilities. But you don't stretch them so far as to where you say, well, I, I didn't do that. I guess I ought to just give up. So, so real goals are specific. By the way, you have to write these down. Writing things down, just it does something. It does something to you. It does something to the goal. It, it, it just makes it more real. And make it very specific. And look for roadblocks that might hinder you. And then make a plan to knock those roadblocks out. I want to do this, but these are going to be some challenges to do this. But I, here's my plan on getting through these challenges. Now, the other thing they need to be, other than real, is they need to be measurable. Uh, big goals should be broken down into smaller, measurable bites. Very important. Then focus on these small bites, accomplish these small bites, and then go on and tackle the next one. And you'll be amazed at the progress. Once you finally, you know, you get so far with this stuff and you turn around and you think, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm making any progress. But no, I, then I turn around and see how far I've come from these goals that I wrote down and, and, and made measurable, and I can see how far I've gone. And so set your finish line, but set it with a clock or a calendar. Create a plan and break it down into daily activities. Okay, today I'm going to do this. Tomorrow I'm going to do that. Well, on Wednesdays I'm going to do this. Uh, so you want to create this plan. You want to break it down. Now another thing, this is important also, well they're all important of course, but take ownership of your goals. Uh, they're not someone else's goals, they're not somebody, something somebody told you to do, or, or and, and you really didn't adopt them as your own. Sometimes it's good, you get good advice, you get good teaching, like, like we do here, and, 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 but you have to decide, this is mine, this is something I am going to do. I'm going to own this. If you just think, well, this is just, you know, this is something, or, or maybe it's not your goal, but it's, you know, somebody pressuring you to do something that, you know, maybe your heart's not in it. Uh, so it's, you've got to count this goal in your mind and in your heart. It's the only way you're going to do it when it gets hard. And trust me, it will get hard if it's a, if it's a good goal you set. So you have to commit. You have to take ownership. So... Uh, if you're looking to get started in the right way with all this, you want to check out EmpoweredInventing.com. Uh, we have a course called Idea to Income. It's, it's, it's getting things kind of started right, and, you know, uh, a, a, a good plan changes everything. So you want to check that out. That's at EmpoweredInventing.com. I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing TV. Like, subscribe. If you know someone you think this will help, please share it with them. And I will look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of our online courses, or on the next video.